seeking answers after their loved one was killed last weekend in a different act of violence. A 29 year old woman died in Hartford on Saturday. And before she went to breaking news, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski was at a vigil where the woman was remembered along with other recent victims of violence. She, she was always happy. She was a classy girl, you know, a woman that worked since six, she was 16, you know, very, very intelligent head over her shoulders. She had a future. She wanted a family. On August 6th, Hartford police found 29-year-old Adelaida Latoris Toro dead from a gunshot wound. Someone was detained at the scene and questioned, but no arrest has been made. Her sister says she knew something wasn't right that night. I knew that was my my sister was dead. I spoke to the officers. They gave me the signs. I described it to the detective. I wasn't able to see because they said it was ugly. Another homicide in Connecticut, adding to the list of over 20 since the beginning of the year. This news, her family says, is unexpected and horrific. When you lose a loved one, the pain is different. Family and friends say they had a unique relationship with Adelaida. She used to come over to my house every weekend. To She always liked to babysit my son on the weekends. So they had that special bond together. And now that she's not here anymore, it's kind of hard. Her family holding on and staying strong as they seek justice for their loved one. I'm not going to give up. My mom, which is Gladys, she was a soldier to nine kids. We're built for that. We're built for fighting. We're built for going to justice. You know? I'm just waiting for that court day just to be there ready. Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.